students, welcome back. Uh, maybe I should say good morning or sometime it may be good evening because this program run maybe in the early morning or maybe in the late evening. But anyway, I want to welcome you back. Today we have a new lesson for you. I hope you are ready. I'm ready too. Last lesson we learned how to chair a meeting and basic issues that should be covered when opening a meeting. What are we going to learn today? <laughs> okay, well, why don't we uh, start by looking at our chapter focus? That's a good idea. Our chapter focus today has two parts. The first is to learn some useful language to make complaints and respond to complaints. The second is to learn some useful language to offer apologies and accept apologies. 是的,今天的学习焦点是如何投诉以及回应投诉的用语。还有就是怎么样表示道歉以及接受道歉的英文用语 In today's lesson, we focus on dealing with the complaints and apologies 啊, 这两个字是今天的重点, complaints and apologies Maybe uh, Austin can uh, give us an a, a explanation first Sure A complaint is a written or spoken statement in which someone says they are not satisfied with something Okay 啊,剛剛阿斯頓老師說, complain就是指別人對你的一些事情不滿意,所以他抱怨 What about, uh, can you give us one example before mm. we move on? Sure. Mm -hmm. Usually when someone complains in a business setting, they expect you to do something to fix the problem. If you want to keep the customers or business partners, it is important that you sincerely listen to what they have to say. Show your concern and understanding of the problems this has caused them. Don't promise what you can't deliver, but do promise to try to resolve this problem in a satisfactory manner. Thank you, Austin. Uh, Austin Uh,人的抱怨的时候,你的态度很重要,你首先要有诚意,要fix uh, the problem,还有呢,你也要对有同理心,你要让人感觉到你对他们的complaint很在乎。还有一个就是你要倾听他们到底对你们公司的或产品的抱怨是什么。当然,你不一定要promise说你一定会解决他们全部的问题,但是你可
And maybe uh, Austin can tell us uh, what it's going to be about. Sure. George is waiting for Anna, but she is late, 30 minutes late. One is complaining, and the other one is apologizing. Okay, 待会的短句呢, George 正在咖啡厅里等着他的朋友Anna。30分钟过后,他终于现身了,走进咖啡店里。那待会我们来看发生什么样的事情, Conversation 1. So sorry to be late. What happened this time? I needed to take my dog to the vet. But many people had arrived before me. I had to wait longer than I expected. Anna, I don't want to complain. But you always seem to have a reason. You are late. The result is the same. You're always late. I know. I've let you down again. I am really sorry. Punctuality is something I need to work on. It just seems you always have an excuse. I just don't know what to say. It really is my weakness. I'll do my best to change. Please be patient with me. I accept your apology, but try to be on time next time, okay? Thanks for understanding. Today's meal is on me. Well, that's nice of you. Let's go inside and see what today's special is. Great. Okay, 看完了刚刚的, uh, conversation one之后, 各位同学, the first one is complaint, 抱怨. 英文的解释是什么呢? A written or spoken statement in which someone says they are not satisfied with something. Okay, complaint的意思就是用书面或口语的方式表达对某事的不满。好,我们来看例句。some customers made a complaint about this particular product. Some customers made a complaint about this particular product. 许多顾客抱怨这一项产品。下一个生字叫 apology, 道歉。A statement to say one is sorry for having done wrong or hurt somebody's feelings. Apology的意思就是为自己的行为或伤了某人的心而感到抱歉. Dr. Tapp made an apology for not meeting the class on time. Dr. Tapp made an, an apology for not meeting the class on time. Dr. Tapp为教授为了没有准时上课而致歉。下一个生字是 vet, 兽医, vet. A shortened word for veterinarian, a doctor for animals. Vet, 就是兽医的缩写,很长的一个字,它你就可以直接叫vet. 我们来看例句。His profession is a vet. His profession is a vet. 他是一名兽医,他的职业叫兽医。下一个生字是 punctuality. Punctuality的意思是准时。the act of being on time. 好的,它就是守时的行为,punctuality,我们来看例句。Punctuality is essential to any business person. Punctuality is essential to any business person. 守时对每一位生意人都是非常重要的。最后,我们要看today's special,今日特餐。Austin, what's today's special? We have grilled chicken, baked salmon, and beef stew. Okay, 请问今日特餐是什么? 他说今日特餐有烤鸡排,熏鲑鱼,以及炖牛肉. Well, Austin, I am so sorry that I have ruined your picture book. Don't worry about it. It could happen to the best of us. You know, I tried to grab my coffee mug. Accidentally, I knocked it over, and the coffee spread over to your picture book. Well, 待会我们会听,看 uh, conversation 2, 待会会出现 ruin, 这个字,使什么坏,损坏,还有 accidentally, 一个副词, 哈, 意外的. It could happen to the best of us, 难免的. Let's see how George handles a similar accident at work. George is talking to his colleague, but something happened. 
he accidentally knocked over Lisa's coffee mug, and coffee spilled all over the desk. 好的，现在我们就来看 conversation two. George 正在办公室里跟他同事谈话。那这个谈话当中啊，发生了一些事情。我们来看 conversation two. Hey, Lisa. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did. Did you do anything special? I just spent time at home and did some housework. How about you? My weekend wasn't bad. I saw a really good movie. Oops! Oh, so sorry. It's all my fault. I didn't notice your cup on my file folder. Let me get this cleaned up. Don't worry about it. It could happen to the best of us. I'll grab a rag. I hope it doesn't ruin anything on your desk. Everything seems to be fine. Sometimes I'm really clumsy. I'm terribly sorry. Please forgive me. Forget about it. I accept your apology. 同学们看完了哎呀 ，conversation two 之后，我们有几个生字。第一个是 accidentally， 啊，意外的。啊，我们看是什么意思 ？By accident, by chance. 偶然的，意外的，这个叫 accidentally。我们来看例句。The police believed the fire was started accidentally. The police believed the fire was started accidentally. 警方研判这个火灾的原因是意外所引起的。下一个生字是 ruin， 使损坏的意思。英文是什么意思呢 ？To damage or destroy something. 对，它就是毁坏、破坏的意思。下一个，我们看例句。You'll ruin your sweater if you wash it in the washing machine. You'll ruin your sweater if you wash it in the washing machine. 你如果把毛衣放进洗衣机里洗，你会毁了那件毛衣。OK， 下一个生字叫 clumsy， clumsy， 笨拙的。A clumsy person moves in a way that is not careful or graceful. OK。当说一个人 clumsy 的时候，就是指他的行动很笨拙、很粗莽。我们再给你们一个例句。I apologize for knocking over your drink. I am just too clumsy. I apologize for knocking over your drink. I'm just too clumsy. 很抱歉翻倒了你的饮料，我实在是太笨拙了。What do you mean when you tell people that you won't let me down? Well, let down means to make someone disappointed by not doing something they are expecting you to do. Okay. 呃，这个意思是说，呃，你没有做到他人期望所应该完成的，而让某人感到失望。Let somebody down. 我们来看例句。This notebook computer is very reliable. It has never let me down. Okay, this notebook computer is very reliable. It has never let me down. 这个笔记型电脑非常好用，它从来没有让我失望。Hey, it's my treat today. Okay, put away your money. Today's meal is on me. 好，我刚刚告诉啊阿斯老师说，哎，今天我招待你，把你的钱收起来嘛。今天这餐这餐是我请客。What does that mean? Something is on me, a way of saying you will pay for something. 好，这个意思就是表达你会付某一个事物的费用。As an example, that is so nice of you. It's on me today, please. You've paid last time. That is so nice of you. It's on me today, please. You paid last time. 你真好，拜托啊，今天这餐算我的。上次你已经付过了。Austin, when people knock some something or somebody over, uh, what what does that mean, and how do you use it? By striking a person or a thing so it falls down. Ah,、oh, knock something or knock somebody over 就是打翻打倒的意思 Okay, 我们来看一个例句 You've knocked over my drink. Be careful. You've knocked over my drink. Be careful. 你把我的饮料给打翻了，小心点。
Okay. Uh, when do uh, when do we use this expression? It happened to the best of us. Usually, we use it when something bad happens to someone, and we want to make that person feel better. Then we'll say, "Don't worry, it happens to the best of us." Okay. 什么时候用这个 "It happens to the best of us"？ 这通常用在就是有人发生了一些啊、uh, 不好的事情啊， uh, 那你要让他感觉好受一点，你就会说啊。Uh, Ah,、uh, it, it 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 happens to the best of us. 呃，这个是人之常情，都会大家都会发生的。好，我们来给一个例句。Sure. As an example, I might say to teacher Lisa, "I am so sorry for making this mistake." 那我可能会说 ，It's okay. It happens to the best of us. 哈，就是说啊，他说我很抱歉，我们犯了这个关啊错。那我就说啊，没关系，哈，难免的，哈。I didn't see you there. Standing, so sorry to bump into you. Okay, don't worry. It happens to the best of us. Again, 我们看到了啊，他说啊，我没看到你站在这里，很抱歉撞到你。那我就说啊，没关系，难免的。哈 ，it could happen to the best of us. 好，我们来看下一个，就是重看这两个短句。这一次在看的时候，我们会有英文的字哈啊字幕在下边。看看同学能不能够记住我们所学的这些字啊，跟词。So sorry to be late. What happened this time? I needed to take my dog to the vet, but many people had arrived before me. I had to wait longer than I expected. Anna, I don't want to complain, but you always seem to have a reason. You are late. The result is the same. You're always late. I know. I've let you down again. I am really sorry. Punctuality is something I need to work on. It just seems you always have an excuse. I just don't know what to say. It really is my weakness. I'll do my best to change. Please be patient with me. I accept your apology, but try to be on time next time, okay? Thanks for understanding. Today's meal is on me. Well, that's nice of you. Let's go inside and see what today's special is. Great. Hey, Lisa, did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did. Did you do anything special? I just spent time at home and did some housework. How about you? My weekend wasn't bad. I saw a really good movie. Oops! Oh, so sorry. It's all my fault. I didn't notice your cup on my file folder. Let me get this cleaned up. Don't worry about it. It could happen to the best of us. I'll grab a rag. I hope it doesn't ruin anything on your desk. Everything seems to be fine. Sometimes I'm really clumsy. I'm terribly sorry. Please forgive me. Forget about it. I accept your apology. Now it's time for the expressions portion of the class. If you want to complain to a person you don't know well, be careful. A direct complaint or criticism can sound very rude or aggressive. It may be best to mention the problem more indirectly. There is no need to insult the employee. Often they are not the person who caused the problem, but they are the one who can help solve it. So work hard to get them on your side. When it is all over, they will feel good about themselves. Success because they were able to help you. If you use these expressions, you will sound polite and respectful. Okay, thank you, Austin. Austin 老师刚刚啊讲到了哈，就是当你 complain 的时候要很小心啊，你不要太直接，直接到一个地步会伤人的感觉哈，伤人的感受。所以他告诉我们，接下去我们要学的这些。啊、uh, ，你怎么 make make making complaints， 或者是你怎么样啊、uh, receiving the the apology， 这些都会啊， uh, 待会会谈到，可能会帮助你啊， uh, 在啊、uh, 在在在工作的场合，真的是不会树立敌人哈，能够有更多的啊啊， uh, uh, 大家都能够很和谐的在一起为啊、uh, 成功的生意来来来建立哈。好，那我们就 come to 啊、uh,。Making complaints. 
I want to make a complaint. I want to make a complaint. I don't like this product. It is too big and heavy. I don't like this product. It's too big and heavy. The service was terrible. The service was terrible. I'm afraid there's a problem with our order. I'm afraid there's a problem with our order. I'm tired of having the same problem over and over. I'm tired of having the same problem over and over. I'm sorry to bother you, but I need your help. I'm sorry to bother you, but I need your help. I'm a bit disappointed with your solution to the problem. I'm a bit disappointed with your solution to the problem. I don't want to complain, but things have gone too far. I don't want to complain, but things have gone too far. 好，接下去是 responding to complaints， 回应人家的抱怨。I see. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll look into it. I'll look into it. I'll see what I can do about it. I'll see what I can do about it. I'll try to take care of it. I'll try to take care of it. 接下去 giving apologies. 给人家道歉，你怎么做呢 ？I'd like to apologize. I'd like to apologize. I've got to apologize for. I've got to apologize for. I'm sorry about the mistake. I'm sorry about the mistake. I'm terribly sorry. I'll find out what happened and we'll get back to you. I'm terribly sorry. I'll find out what happened and we'll get back to you. Yes, I understand. It's all my fault. Yes, I understand. It's all my fault. I can't tell you how sorry I am. I can't tell you how sorry I am. I just don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say. Please forgive me for. Please forgive me for. 后边可能有一些事情哈。接下去我们来看 forgiving。你要人家道歉的时候，你要怎么回应呢 ？It's okay. It's okay. No problem. No problem. I forgive you. I forgive you. Forget about it. Forget about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I accept your apologies. I accept your apologies. There's no need to apologize. There's no need to apologize. It could happen to the best of us. It could happen to the best of us. 刚刚我们学到了很多 expressions. 现在我们要来看 Q and A， 我们看看两位同学带来的问题是什么。Hi, this is Michael. Hello, I'm Mavis. My first question is: Is today's special usually cheaper than other things on the menu? Why is that? Thanks for the question, Michael. Today's special usually is cheaper than other things on the menu. This might be for several reasons. Usually because it is something that is bought on special, something that is seasonal, so that it is only available at that time and therefore can be sold for a better price. Although sometimes it is something the restaurant is trying to get rid of. Okay, 谢谢 Michael 的问题。呃、uh, ，Today's special 通常是比较便宜，由于是季节性的东西，或者是公司。啊啊，餐厅想要把这些东西赶快卖掉，所以会啊、uh, 比较是且便宜一点。我们来看第二个问题。My first question: Does the word clumsy have any additional associations such as stupid? Thanks for the question, Mavis. The word clumsy has to do with physical ability or how you move around, if you are graceful or not. Uh, while the word "stupid" has to do with mental ability, whether or not someone has、um, a very strong、uh, IQ or is able to think very、uh, clearly or quickly, so I would say that really they are two separate words. Hmm. 好的，啊、uh, ，刚刚啊啊 ，Mavis 的呃、uh, 问题 ，clumsy， 通常 clumsy 是指一个人的行动力比较笨拙，但是。Stupid 可能是跟人家的 IQ 哈，人家感觉看起来愚昧、愚笨的，这两个字应该是不一样的哈。那在我们的 skit 里头是指这个人的行动有点呃粗莽
，好打翻的东西。好，我们现在来看 Question Three。Thank you, teachers. My other question is: Is it appropriate to complain about my job to colleagues? Thanks for the question, Michael. I would say that probably everybody complains about their job at some point. However, you want to make sure that you are not complaining too much or too severely. You don't want to be the person in your office or at your work who is always complaining and always negative. That's right. Uh, Michael, this question, uh, Austin 老师的回答也是我的我的想法 You don't want to complain a lot. I mean, you don't want to be with uh be with someone uh always complaining. Uh, 小心啊， uh, 你 complain 的对象以及你 complain 的。Quantity, 哈，到底多少哈？呃，不要太多，这对你应该是不好的哈。那在工作的职场，每一个人都会抱怨啊，但是小心你抱怨的程度跟内容，还有你向谁抱怨也很重要。OK， 我们来看最后一个问题。We usually use social media like Facebook usually every day. Can we、uh, write down some complaints about my job and、uh, post it on the Facebook? Thanks for the question, Mavis. I would highly advise against complaining about your job on Facebook. It's not a very good idea. You could get in trouble at work and even get into legal trouble if your company decides what you're doing is making them look very bad. Is it, Mavis? 不，不要这么做。呃，不要把 complain 写写在 Facebook。可能你的公司会因此而举发你或告你，呃，因为让公司感觉没有面子。Okay, today we learn many useful phrases to make complaints and respond to complaints. We also learn some useful language to offer apologies and accept apologies. What are we going to learn in our next lesson, Lisa? Well,、um, we have more to learn next week regarding different professions, such as sales clerk, secretary, and be an interviewer. Professional talk. That sounds like a great lesson. Students, make sure you tune in on time. Don't forget to practice what you have learned from our program. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Bye bye.